morning to all my viewers for this uh, episode we are discussing about the inspired to inquire now uh, you will notice of uh, a person asking you questions uh, if the person asks you questions sincerely you will notice that uh, his posture you will notice his uh, uh, style of asking questions uh, so that uh, you will know that uh, he is interested of your lecture or of your uh, topic that you are discussing about. Now, inspired to inquire, it is our topic for today. Um, this was happened when uh, Jesus was 12 years old. Uh, it was at the time of uh, the Jewish uh, festival in Jerusalem uh, because uh, the culture of the Jewish people, they were taught about uh, the feast and uh, this feast is very important in the Jewish uh, culture. Now uh, we will uh, look into the scripture regarding this. Uh, it is uh, found in uh, Luke chapter 2 verse 41 to 44. Actually uh, Luke was a doctor in profession uh, and Luke uh, is also uh, a writer. Uh, we can see this in uh, this uh, chapter. Uh, in verse 42, every year his parents went to Jerusalem for the feast of the Passover. When he was 12 years old, they were went up to the feast according to the custom. So it was their custom. Now, uh, as what I have told you, that uh, it was the feast. Now, it is called Passover feast. Now, what is this uh, Passover feast? This is very important in the Jewish culture, in the Jewish custom. Why? It's because uh, this was happened in the time of Moses when the Israelites was slave in Egypt. So uh, this uh, was the time started when God uh, intervened the lives of the Jewish people uh, when they were in bondage in Egypt. So uh, when Moses sent by God to Egypt to uh, deliver the Israelites people from slavery of the Egyptian, so there was the signs and wonders and miracles happened there. Uh, in the last day, uh, God uh, instructed uh, Moses and the Israelites people to have a Passover, to commemorate a Passover, to do a Passover. So God commanded Moses to, uh, to kill a lamb, uh, or even in every family, they will kill a lamb so that uh, the blood be sprinkled at the doorpost so that death will not come to them. So that is called Passover. It means to say that death will pass over them. So death will not uh, come to them, but it will affect to the Israelite people. So the same with us today, uh, we have the Passover. Uh, it is not peace, but Passover lamb. Uh, Jesus is our Passover lamb, so that uh, we will not be uh, we will not be uh, affected by viruses. Will not be affected by calamities. Will not be affected by disasters and plagues. So that is uh, Jesus is our Passover lamb. So in this uh, time, uh, in the time of Jesus, uh, Joseph and Mary went to Jerusalem to attend this uh, Passover feast. So it was uh, 12 years old. Jesus was 12 years old when he went with his parents to Jerusalem to celebrate the Passover feast. It says there in verse 44, after the feast was over, while his parents were returning home, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem, but they were and aware of it, thinking was in their company, they traveled on for a day. So, uh, after the celebration of the feast, uh, Joseph and Mary went home and uh, they presumed that Jesus was with them. So, they were traveling uh, a day uh, for a day. So, because uh, it is uh, far, the Jerusalem to Nazareth. Uh, now, in that time, they will they don't have any. Um, vehicle so they don't have any car uh they, they were walking they were walking from jerusalem to nazareth and uh, it, it will uh more about uh, three days travel three days travel so uh the seminary traveled from jerusalem to nazareth in a day and pres assuming that uh, in their in their their thinking that jesus was with them but uh, it so happened that uh, uh, Mary and uh, Joseph uh, aware that uh, they were they were unaware of that that Jesus left behind. So, says her, 
45. Then they began looking for him among their relatives and friends. When they did not find him, they went back to Jerusalem to look for him. So this is uh, the time that uh, that Jesus uh, was left, and then uh, Mary and Joseph were uh, they were looking for him. So they searched for him, and they went back. They went back to uh, Jerusalem. They went back to Jerusalem in order that uh, they will find him. So now, can you imagine if they have traveled uh, a day? So they will they will go back to Jerusalem in a day's journey. So it will cost them two days and then another day for searching for him. So uh, because in their, in their thinking that uh, maybe Jesus was in, in Jerusalem in the temple uh, because uh, the uh, Jesus did not uh, went with the, the, the relatives of uh, Joseph and Mary. After three days, they found him in the temple court. So after the three days uh, searching for Jesus, they found him at the temple courts. Now, uh, who were the companion of Jesus at the temple court? So, here, uh, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. So, Jesus was with the teachers of the law uh, because uh, at the temple, there were priests and scribes and teachers. So, those teachers are the teachers of the law. So, the law of Moses uh, were... They were discussing about so uh why is it that uh, the teachers were or the teachers of the law were interested about jesus they were interested about uh, questioning jesus maybe because jesus uh as they were as, as they have the as they have noticed that jesus has different wisdom uh jesus has different uh, understanding so that's why they are they were interested in asking questions to jesus and jesus answered them rightly so uh the the the, the teachers were were discussing the law and also jesus were also uh contributing them uh have opinion uh, giving his opinion to to the law what what the teachers is discussing about the law so this is uh, how inspiring was jesus how inspiring is jesus uh questioning or asking questions to the teachers about the law so this is inspired inspired or in, to inquire inspired to inquire. jesus was very inspired to inquire and then uh, it says there that uh, everyone who heard him was amazed and his understanding and his uh wisdom so uh jesus has different understanding with the teachers of the law uh he has wisdom he's, he has perfect wisdom so that's why the teachers of the law were very interested in asking questions to jesus and also jesus were inspired to ask them questions because uh that is the law of moses and that is the law from god and then uh, jesus know about that so discussing about that they were very interested and inspired jesus is very was very inspired to ask them questions about the law and then uh, when his parents saw him, they were astonished. His mother said to him, Son, why have you treated us like this? Your father uh, and I have been anxious searching for you. So uh, Mary, the mother, uh, asking Jesus why he had done that. Uh, Jesus did not uh, tell them, did not uh, ask them permission to to leave or did ask permission to, to be left behind by them. So that's why the mother, Mary, said to Jesus, Son, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? We are uh, tired of uh, seeking you or we are searching you. We have uh, wasting our time. We, waste our, we have wasted, you have wasted our time to uh, search you. Uh, then uh, we, we found you here. So uh, maybe uh, that is the, because uh, Jesus was a very obedient uh, son. He, uh, he obeyed Mary and Joseph, but at this time, uh jesus did not ask them permission to be left behind uh and to be with the teachers uh, then uh, it so happened her that uh, mary said that uh son why have you treated us like this why have you treated us like this so this uh maybe that is the question of a mother uh being not being not asked about uh, the permission to not to go with them so that's the that's the the feeling of Mary. 
then why are you searching for me? So Jesus, when Mary told the why, why you have treated like this, uh, Jesus said to him that, why are you searching for me? So um, then he said, he asked, don't you know I had to be in my father's house? So uh, Jesus uh, wants to let Mary know that uh, Jesus is in the father's house or in the business with the father, with the holy father, in the business with the creator. So that's why he said that, uh, why are you searching for me? Now, uh, it is uh, an anxious for the mother, but uh, it is also the responsibility of Jesus to answer to Mary that uh, Jesus, uh, it is no more needed to, to search for him. It's because he knows, although he was 12 years old at this time, but uh, he already knew that uh, he has a mission uh, given from the Holy Father. So that is why Jesus said that, why are you searching for me? So, uh, but uh, Jesus was very obedient, uh, respectful uh, to his parents. So, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So Mary and Joseph did not understand when Jesus said that I am in my father's business or I am in my father's house. So they did not understand that. But um, as they returned to home, then he went down to Nazareth with them and was obedient to them. But his mother treasured all these things in his in her heart. So, uh when they went home, Jesus was with them. So Jesus go with them uh, because Jesus was very obedient to his parents. So he was with them. But uh, Mary treasured in her heart uh, what uh, Jesus had told her. So that is uh, how then it is. It. And Jesus grew in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and men. So that is a very uh, good thing that Jesus, uh, he was inspired to inquire and he was filled with wisdom from God and uh, he grew in favor with God and man. So that's all that I am uh, sharing you today about the life of Jesus at his age of 12 years old inspired to inquire.